we had a problem with uh, losing brake fluid. And uh, at first thought it was the master cylinder for the brakes, but it was the clutch cylinder. And it was really soaking the rugs, which I took out the rug and the floor insulation. You can see the uh, amount that's leaking just from stepping on the clutch. You can see it's getting low again. The line runs down to the clutch cylinder from the common reservoir. So I cut out the insulator with an X-Acto knife and removed the carpet and washed them thoroughly and they've been out in the rain so the brake fluid is uh, completely removed. I ordered uh, another clutch master cylinder from Rock Auto online. Everything included, including the rubber boot. The only issue was it was a little longer. As I mentioned, you have to take the dash off to get to the components. Okay, so that is the lever for the brake that goes back in through that uh, vacuum booster, power brake booster. I took off the brake booster, which the there's four bolts there. As you can see three of them there and then down further in there at the bottom there let's see the original cylinder was leaking badly and was corroded it may clean up after washing it out it wasn't that bad but the push rod was heavily corroded so I had to uh, take that out Pretty crusty and tough to get out too. Right down in there. That's the rod for the master for the uh, master clutch cylinder. It's the clutch cylinder uh, rod that I took off. That's uh, it's held in place by a pin and rod. Anyway, you have to take this whole thing out to get to that, and then uh, they put that back on there. And the pedals are attached to that. So, anyway, I've refurbished the pin. It looks good. And I think I'll just clear up some of this rust stuff right there. There's four bolts. Hold the, the mount for the pedals and the brake booster. The two of them are down, down there. It's just hard to see. But there's four of them. Anyway, that's on now. And then I have to put the dash back in. The first one testing. Got that back in, and then the hose there goes to the clutch cylinder. There's the clutch cylinder. It loops around there now instead of going underneath because of the extra length of the replacement. Very tough to get in. Getting those bolts in. There's one right above there too. It's really tough. And then the... The 
line used to go underneath but would not on this one which was slightly different size so that was really hard. Before putting it back together with the dash and everything we hooked up the, uh, the gauges and uh, checking for leaks and there were no leaks that we could see after a lengthy drive so looks like it's, it's okay. We drove about 20 miles. Hope this helped somebody. Comment, like, or subscribe.